Okay, we're going to look at what we call morphing quadrilaterals so that you don't have a fixed idea of what the quadrilaterals are. So let's start. Now, a uh, parallelogram is what we're going to look at first. And one way of defining a parallelogram is to say it is a quadrilateral uh, with opposite sides parallel. Okay, so if we, if we put that uh, on the diagram here, this is a typical picture of a parallel. So opposite sides there are parallel. Okay, so just put those markings on there. Now, you've got to learn to recognize all different sorts of parallelograms. So here are some other ones. So there's a funny looking parallelogram. This is another one and here's another one. Okay, so there's different looking parallelograms. Uh, there's also what we call a family of parallelograms. Now, which of the quadrilaterals that we've looked at so far would satisfy this definition? So out of the square, parallelogram, kite, rectangle, trapezium, the, the special quadrilaterals, rhombus, for example, um, which of the shapes so far have the property of opposite sides parallel? Okay, let's see if we can write them all down. So which shapes have we done so far? Um, with opposite sides parallel. Well, definitely square. Square has opposite sides parallel. So does a rectangle. And so does a rhombus. Now, a trapezium has at least one pair. So we wouldn't say that a trapezium is always a parallelogram. So at the moment, we've got square, rectangle, and rhombus. All of those have opposite sides parallel, okay? Because um, if you do a quick sketch of a square, that'll do. You've got opposite sides there parallel, opposite sides here parallel. And if you do, do a rectangle, same thing, opposite sides parallel, opposite sides parallel, and a rhombus. You do a rough sketch of a rhombus. That's the best one, rhombus. Rhombus has all sides equal, of course. Now for a rhombus, opposite sides are parallel as well. So, in fact, all of these shapes, the, the square, rectangle, and rhombus, are part of the parallelogram family. All of these are, are particular parallelograms. Okay. So square, rectangle, rhombus, they all are part of the parallelogram family. Now, you've got a little challenge here. The challenge is to click on that link and to try and make a square, a rectangle, and a rhombus out of a parallelogram. So let's have a look. Um, sorry, that's not it. This one here. So here's your typical parallelogram. Um, can you make a rectangle out of it? Let's have a look. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, so yes, we uh, have a... A rectangle here you can see here that the, the corner angles are 90 degrees you can see that the diagonals are equal in length and bisect each other um, so this is a rectangle so i can definitely make a rectangle from parallelogram can i make a square so that means all sides equal yes i can um, now can i make a rhombus now rhombus is a little bit harder to make uh, and I want to have all sides equal, like I do with a square. Uh, the important now with a rhombus, I'm going to give you a, a tip here. A rhombus has diagonals which meet at 90 degrees. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually make this uh, so that the diagonals meet at 90. So I have to do a little bit of fiddling around. There we go. All right. So. I've got all sides equal, diagonals are meeting at 90. 
Uh, the diagonals are not necessarily that you can length for a rhombus. Okay, so here I've made a rhombus. So from a parallelogram, I can make a rectangle, a square, or a rhombus. See if you can do the same. Now, let's uh, go to the rhombus now. Now, a rhombus is a quadrilateral with four sides equal. Okay, or all sides equal. So that means we can put a little dash here, dash here, dash here, and dash here. Okay. Now, there's all sorts of different rhombuses. Um, this is this is a standard looking rhombus. This is the rhombus which has been tilted a little bit. And here's another rhombus. Okay. So rhombuses aren't always um, drawn on a page with a horizontal base. They could be a little bit rotated. Now, which of the quadrilaterals so far satisfy this property that they have all sides equal? So which, now let's, let's go through the list. Does a rectangle have all sides equal? No. Uh, does a square have all sides equal? Yes. So a square is actually a special kind of rhombus. Okay. A square is a special kind of rhombus. In fact, there is no other shape which has all, all sides equal apart from a square. So that means a square is a rhombus. Okay. So let's um, go back to our diagram here. And I'm just going to slide this up to create, there's my rhombus there from that link. You've got to click on that link. And can I make a square out of this? Now to get a square, I need all sides equal. Okay. All sides equal. And, and if all, and I also need 45 degree angles. So let's just see if I can clock that in there. It's nearly there. Not quite. There we go. All right. So I've got a square there now because I've got 45 degree angles there. Okay. I've got all sides equal, obviously, because it's a rhombus, but I've also got the diagonals that equal length and bisect each other. Okay. So that shows you that I can make a square out of a rhombus, which means a square is a special kind of rhombus. Okay, so let's have a look at another one. So what about a rectangle? Now, a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, Four. Now, which, uh, and here are all different kind of rectangles. Have a look. These are all different look, looking rectangles. Sometimes they're rotated. Um, I have to get that picture out of the way. And then that one's rotated as well. But now what, what shapes also have all angles 90 degrees? Can you think of it? So you get, think of a square, parallelogram, kite, uh, rhombus, which of those shapes have four right angles? Well, it turns out there's only one. Okay. The only shape which has four right angles is a square. Okay. So that means a square is a special kind of rectangle. So a square is part of the rectangle family. So if you click on that link, can you go to the rectangle uh, shapes? So let's just slide this little pink slider up here. We've got the rectangle. Can you make the rectangle into a square? Should be pretty easy. Uh, just about four, four, four. We should have everything should be locked in there. Hang on. All sides equal. And there we've got a square, right? Because you're looking for 45 degree angles in the corners there to get a perfect square. All right. So that means a Square is a special kind of rectangle with all sides equal. Okay, so a square fits a. A square is a special kind of rectangle. All right, let's move on. Now, a square is a quadrilateral with four right angles and four equal sides. Um, so four equal sides and four right angles. Now, can you think of any shape which has those properties. Um, now let's first have a look at these three squares. So, so the squares aren't always with a horizontal base. You can have a square on a rotation there. And this is another rotated square. 
So can you think of any other quadrilaterals that satisfy the definition of a square? The answer is no, right? There's no shape apart from the square which has all sides equal and four right angles. Okay, now what about a kite? Now, a kite is a quadrilateral with a pair, with two pairs of adjacent sides equal. So that means that this pair of adjacent sides are equal and this pair of adjacent sides are equal. Okay, now there's all sorts of uh, different looking kites. They don't always look like this. Here's a kite here. Uh, that's on its side. Here's another kite. Here's another kite. They're all looking different to the first one. Look at this kite. This is still a kite. Have a look. The adjacent start sides are still equal, and that still is a kite. Okay? This is what we call a concave kite, and the other ones are convex, but that still satisfies the property. So this here is still a kite. Looks a bit like the Star Trek logo. Right now, can you think of any quadrilaterals that satisfy the definition of a kite? Now, definition of a kite, remember, is two pairs of adjacent sides equal. So let's think of your shapes. Um, now, let's do a square. Now, a square, okay, four right angles, obviously. Does a square have two pairs of adjacent sides equal? Yes, it does. So that's a special kind of kite. What about a rhombus? We'll draw a rhombus. Okay, we know rhombus has got all sides equal there. Well, does it have uh, two pairs of adjacent sides equal? Yes, it does. There's one side, there's another side. They're adjacent, they're equal in length. Then here's one side, here's the second side. So we've got a second pair of adjacent sides. So rhombus is also a special kind of kite. Now, rectangle. Rectangle, definitely no. Have a look. Opposite sides are equal, but adjacent sides aren't equal. You can see here, this side here and this side here are adjacent, but they're not equal in length. So that's a big no. Um, parallelogram the same. Um, so it turns out that the square and the rhombus are special kinds of kites. They're part of the kite family. Okay, now the challenge for you will be to make a kite this is a bit harder. Um, so with your, okay, so here we go. So let's go to the kite. Uh, that's not there. Here, here's the kite. So your challenge now is to make a rhombus out of a kite. Uh, now to do that, you need all sides equal. So can you do it? Um, you're gonna have to play around with that one. Oh, there we go. I did it. 4.2. Actually, I made that into a square. This is a square now, not uh, not a rhombus. Well, actually, a square, a square is kind of rhombus. But so, so I've done the square. Can you make a rhombus out of that? That's your challenge. Um, now, rhombus won't necessarily have the 45 degree angles here. Okay, just be aware of that. But for the rhombus, you'll have all sides equal, but you won't have the 45 degree angles in there. So you have a go at that. Um, now, what about a trapezium? Now. A trapezium is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides equal. So that's at least. Okay, so this here is a trapezium. And so are these ones. This has got uh, one pair of parallel sides. This, these are all different looking trapeziums and they don't always have to be uh, pictured with a horizontal base. Sometimes a trapezium is on its side like this one. Okay, but they've got that property at least one pair. Now, because it's at least one pair, that means we can have more than um, so more than one pair of parallel sides. So, so which are the special quadri quadrilaterals? So let's have a think. Does a square have at least one pair of parallel sides? It does. It's actually got two pairs. So a square is a special kind of trapezium, right? It's a special kind of trapezium in in the way that it's got actually two pairs of parallel sides. That means a rectangle also is a trapezium. Okay, a rectangle is a trapezium. Okay, now what about a 
In fact, uh, any parallelogram will be, won't it? So if I do a parallelogram, a parallelogram is also a trapezium, a special kind of trapezium. And then also we have the rhombus. Okay, it's not a very good picture. Uh, rhombus, all sides equal and opposite sides parallel. So now all of these have two pairs of parallel sides, which is okay because the trapezium has at least one pair. That means you can have one pair or two pairs of parallel sides. So these are the typical trapeziums you might see in the textbook, but here are also shapes which classify as trapeziums. Okay, so the parallelogram is a trapezium and so is a rhombus. Okay. Uh, the kite is not because it doesn't have any parallel sides. Okay, so now we're ready to go to the mind map. So let's have a look. See if you can fill this in. Um, and this will be your homework, if you like. Um, we, I want you to fill in this mind map. So what are the other shapes which fit into the definition of a kite? There's obviously two. What are the shapes which fit into a parallelogram? Um, we'll go through that together. But I want you to go to back to this link here and see if you can make a, from the trapezium, see if you can make square, rectangle, parallelogram, rhombus. So that's the challenge. So let's have a look. If I slide this up to shape six, there's my trapezium. Now there's your typical looking um, uh, trapezium. Can I make this into a rectangle? Uh, okay. So there we go. Got that done nearly. Yes, I can. I've got opposite sides are equal. Um, this is a rectangle. You can see the rec the diagonals are equal in length and bisect each other. So I want you to see if you can make the square, uh, the rhombus, and the parallelogram from uh, the trapezium shape. See how you go with that one. Okay. So homework for you will be to fill in this page here. All right the page on the mind map. Okay, and that's it.